Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol PXS. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually just today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like you this time, Frampton has a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price. And in this situation makes mapping out a very logical question quite straightforward. That question revolves around the fact that today the price made a very nice move. I mean, when you consider where the price was at the start of things, and then you look at where the price ultimately closed, any rational person is going to say, yeah, the, the price definitely made a nice move on the day. But that leads to the valid question now of, but is there any sort of true power behind this price movement? Is there any sort of genuine strength? Or is this just some sort of knee-jerk reaction, dead cat bounce type move? I have no idea. But like I said, by using charts, we can make answering that question very straightforward. And in my mind, it all revolves around a single area. And that area is down here at the $2 mark. Why is $2 so important? Well, hopefully we can agree on the logic that price movements with genuine strength, with true power, the price is gonna progress forward. The price is not gonna go back to where it was. I'm assuming you're saying, hey, thanks, Captain Obvious. Of course, if a price movement is truly powerful, it's not gonna go back to where it was. That'd be a total contradiction. Exactly. So with that in mind, think about two. Any sort of closes below there or worse yet if the price separates to the downside, what would that be doing to the price? That would literally be putting the price right back inside of that range of the chart that it just broke out from. Again, going back, not a sign of true strength. Whereas let's say the price pulls back here, behaves in this manner, and then starts to work its way back upwards. What would you have in this set of circumstances? Well, you'd have a set of lows there. You'd have these lows down there. If you envision each one of those as stair steps, well, hey, now you have stair steps progressing in the upwards direction. And again, that's the name of the game. That's what a truly strong move is going to do over time. It's going to make progress forward. In terms of the sellers and resistance, pretty straightforward. Nothing fancy about it at all. The party stopped today right up around the $2.40 mark. So 240 will be public enemy number one going into next week. All in all, though, I think top priority, in my opinion at least, is not necessarily breaking levels of resistance. It's all about just going through healthy consolidations and making progress forward. And one final time, that you know, making progress point. As long as it's up above $2, that implies the, the stair step is in place. And that's how those long-term uptrends are constructed. One of the biggest questions I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.